talked about beginners, right? How 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 they're supposed to train or some good tips and tricks for them. What about like some someone really experienced? Just to simplify yeah. it, like sets, reps, weights, percentage yep. of your one rep max to get strong and big. What would you recommend? Yep. Okay, so if someone well trained, uh, I would say stop training to failure because you're already quite strong. You it's going to impair your recovery. Uh, you're going to need to train at higher intensities, 80% uh, one repetition maximum or higher if you're looking for strength. Okay, you're not a not a newbie anymore, so you probably do need to stay up that area. Look for complementary exercises. Okay, as a newbie, everything's new, so you don't even know what's complementary yet. But if you've been training for a long time. Start thinking about, okay, what exercises am I maybe not doing at the moment that I can think of, think might help me on another, on another lift that I want to get better at and start doing some experimentation. I would also say from a sets and reps pers uh, perspective, if you're training at those higher intensities, 80% or higher as a well-trained individual, uh, you're going to get the mus the same muscle health, out muscle growth outcomes as if you train at a lower intensity. So you're probably already ticking a box. In English, we have the word uh, phrase "killing two birds with one stone," and it, it means uh, if you're going to lift to eighty percent to get stronger, it's going to help with your muscle growth. So yep. you're kind of doing both anyway, because we know someone well trained, you can't train at thirty percent one repetition maximum and expect to get strong. Yeah, you'll get you'll gain muscle, but it's not going to help you with your strength. So you might as well just stay up high. Um, would be my recommendation there. As far as sets and reps, I would say for a well-trained individual, if you're not already doing it, start having a diary of how many sets you're doing each week on a muscle group and tracking your training volume. So if things aren't working for you and you hit a plateau, you can look back and see, well, has my volume been going down? Has it stayed the same? Has it been going up? And help you determine of, of maybe an area that you could rectify to help break through a plateau. And I guess the last one, which summarizes a bit about the plateau, uh, would be Sometimes you just need to get off the exercise you're trying to get better at you know, as a well-trained individual. Sometimes you just need a break from it and try something else and come back to it in a month or two uh, with a new appreciation for it and being more invigorated about trying to get better at it.